Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. I am very glad you're here today because we have some summer soleil and some other things to talk about, namely the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint. I have to tell you, I wore this yesterday and I'm going to put it on. We're going to talk about it. But I'm going to let you see for yourself. We are supposed to take, this is one ounce, by the way, comes in this beautiful, like easy to hold little number. Wouldn't take up much room in a suitcase or anything. It's just, reminds me a lot of her, of her other one, but like in a miniature tells you the name of your shade on the back here. Mine is T1. This one had a nice pink look to it. You are supposed to really shake this. You can hear there are little balls in there to make sure that the skin care and the tint mix together. So you're supposed to take two drops of this on your hand. I'm actually going to put it on this side because it doesn't absorb. One, two. Whoa. Okay. Now, one thing is like you can't just stand up the bottle and it's got a top. So you have to kind of be ready to put it back on when you're doing this. And what I did yesterday is I just dotted this on my face. I was very concerned about what color to buy. And now that it's here, I can see I could have worn a lot of colors. It really wouldn't have made a difference at all. So I'm going to, I have skincare on. It's late at night, so I'm, I'm not wearing sunscreen, but it did go over sunscreen yesterday beautifully. But my son is in town from, for spring break and I'm filming when I can. <laughs> so my face had some redness. And this virtually disappears into your face and you're left with nothing sticky, nothing wet. It just feels incredibly soft and my skin tone is like evened out. And I'm looking at this yesterday and it's like for mature skin to find a product that doesn't accentuate lines, that doesn't sit inside, let me get you a little closer, that doesn't sit inside of lines. This is gorgeous. It is one of the most beautiful products I've ever put on. I love it. Granted, it does not cover my hyperpigmentation. It doesn't cover dark circles. <laughs> It smooths your skin. It is incredibly hydrating, but not in a sticky, wet way. Like, I don't feel like I, my hair is not going to stick to me. I just looked really evened out, which is exactly what I always want from the complexion product. The heavy lifting I personally like to do with concealer. And it's not to say that this one doesn't need a concealer. I am going to put on a concealer. I'm going to put it in places. Yesterday I took some film and I'll show you. I did um, just some concealer under my eyes. I actually used the Say yesterday, but I'm going to use the Guerlain right now because these are kind of tried and true to me. I'm going to put on a little bit of color corrector because I look a little tired. It's pretty late. Just going to put a few dots where I'm dark and let that hang out for a second. 
So Lisa also came out with some lip pencils and I got all of the cool shades here and I'm going to show you how to use these in just a minute. I'm in love. So I'll just spoiler alert you on that. I think this whole entire collection, phenomenal. I'm going to just pat this in with my Angie Hot and Flashy favorite, favorite concealer brush. And I mean, just with that, I love that there's no SPF that's in Lisa's product that's going to make anybody, anyone break out. I put mine over a mineral sunscreen yesterday. I used the Bloom Effects and I thought it was beautiful together. Today I put on a little bit of primer of the Victoria Beckham in the original shade. I'm going to put a teeny bit of concealer on here and then we're going to do a little spot concealing because that's sort of Lisa's thing. She likes to do that patchwork face. So I'm just dotting this on here. I'm going to give that a second to do its thing. And then we will do a little bit more of, of the spot concealing that I didn't do yesterday because I want to see how it all looks together. But for me, I love being able to control the coverage where I need it and to just have very hydrated skin that looks even. It's like this is my dream product, truly. I'm going to just press this under my eyes. So I'm very excited because my son is home from school for the week. He is on spring break. And he didn't really want to go anywhere. He wanted to come home which is a really nice thing. It's been a lot of fun. We went to dinner last night and my husband's schedule is really light this week. So we're going to go spend a lot of really nice time together. And I just feel like this last, I don't know what you would call it, gap in not seeing him has been since he went back to school in January. It seemed really long to me. <laughs> It always seemed long to me, but this seemed really long. Okay, so I want you to look at just at my face, underneath my eyes. I love the way this looks. I like that my dark circles are mostly gone. I have been really tired. And while we're sitting here, I'm going to dot like Lisa would just where you need it, her patchwork technique. So start over here and we're just going to find those little spots of hyperpigmentation that are a little more obvious than others. Kind of looking to see what's going on here lately. A little here. I am going to just, let's see how it looks. Okay. Um. Anyway, it did seem like a really long time this time. And I'm just so glad to have him back at home. And it's just nice. Nobody was happier than our dog. <laughs> Every time my son comes home, I fell when the dog sees him for the first time. So as you can see, like the hyperpigmentation is fading into my face. Thank goodness. And so those big areas that I might worry about 
have all been taken care of. I'm going to do a little bit here. Do a little here. A little here. That's it. Just to brighten up a little. So we'll just use the same brush, why not? So I don't know how you guys feel. Are any of you guys empty nesters? <laughs> it's, it's weird. It's like, it came so fast. Today I was reading, you know, just going through Instagram, kind of scrolling. And I had seen this the other day, but today is the actual day, which is the 24th. That is the 40th. Yes, I said 40th anniversary of the release of Breakfast Club. And John Hughes is from my hometown. And they did a lot of research and took extras for his movies from my high school and filmed, you know, all around the Chicago area. The Breakfast Club was filmed at one of the schools that had closed. I don't know. It was like the most relatable movies, I think, of, of our adolescence between Breakfast Club, 16 Candles. I have to look up all the ones that he did. There were just, there were so many movies. In fact, I'm going to look right now because I'm interested. So his mom worked at the bookstore at my high school. And we were so, so sad when he passed away back in 2009. Okay, so these are his movies. Ready? Breakfast Club. That was in 85. Ferris Bueller. 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 86. 84 was 16 Candles. 86 was Pretty in Pink. You know, he did all the Home Alones and everything, but I'm just trying to look for the ones that were all the vacation movies. Um, She's Having a Baby was 88. There were just Mr. Mom. <laughs> I mean, Miracle on 34th Street, Beethoven. I'm not even reading all of them. They were just iconic movies that were so relatable to all of us when we were in high school. It was just, he's really, he's, he's very, very missed right now. Okay, I want to show you how these pencils work. When you look at her website, let me just pull out for one second. You will see, and I'll put it over here so you can see it. She looks at your undertone. Are you a neutral? Are you a cool or are you a warm? If you're a cool, these were the three lip pencils that she made for cool toned people. And most of the seamless skin enhancing tints are neutral in color. There are some olive, there are some more rosy, which is why I went with number one. And I really thought like, oh, it's gonna make me look like a ghost, I'm nervous. I might pick up number three for summer, but I don't expect to get any darker than this because I wear so much sunscreen and have to stay out of the sun. So to me, this product is chef's kiss perfection. I am used to wearing really light foundations. Like if I just pulled like what's sitting here right now, I've got Summer Fridays, totally light skin tint. I got my Hourglass Veil, totally light skin tint. I've got my LeBeige, totally light, like a skin tint. I do have the Prada, 
that's a, an exception. And I also do have the Clay de Poe cushion foundation here, and that is full coverage. But most of the time, I like to put on SPF and I like to put on just a skin tint and a little bronzer and, you know, some mascara and go run my errands. Now I can go with my skin totally not looking like there's makeup on it, but not having any of my red blotchies. I wore this for 10 hours yesterday, 10. And when I sat down to just make the little videos for you guys, just so you could see it, of course I didn't make the one putting it on, but there's that. Um, I was blown away. Hi guys, it's very late. It's like after midnight. I was just going to wash my face. I put my sweats on. I looked in the mirror before I washed my face and I'm I'm wearing the Lisa Eldritch Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint today. I didn't try to conceal a whole bunch of things, just a little bit under my eyes before we went out for dinner. There's no settling in any part of my skin. It feels so soft and comforted. I'm not dried out. I'm not red. I'm not splotchy. This is absolutely groundbreaking stuff. This is different than anything I've ever tried before. You, it is a full ounce. You only need, this was like two drops, two drops of this and just dotted it on and kind of like rubbed it in and wow, my skin looked so good. And I just, I couldn't believe that it had held up like this. I also picked up her cool tone pencils, which are like perfect for me. Don't get hung up on the shades. They're flexible. They really are. And most of them are neutral. You can DM her team. They're incredible. Prioritize this. It's different. It's groundbreaking. It's new. It's not like anything else I've ever tried before. Get your hands on this. You're going to love it. My skin had not turned red. I wasn't blotchy. I didn't feel like there was something that I had to wash off. It was such a good feeling. And it's the same right now. Like my skin feels soft like a baby. Like it's, it's, it's the, it's a product that I think is in its own category. I don't think we've seen anything like this. I think that Lisa has created something that is a totally different category of skincare that is also makeup. So it's like more than a hybrid because there's so many, you know, there's so many foundations and stuff that we use these days that are skincare. But I don't know. I feel like Lisa went skincare first and then just came up with a miracle because you saw how little I put on. It was two drops, literally two drops. And my face is totally evened out. It's pretty wild. All right, let's take a look at these. So the warms have uh, three colors, the cools have three colors, and then she has four neutrals. I do plan on picking up the two lightest neutral colors just to see what they'll look like with like nude lipsticks. But these are exactly my jam. And if it, truth be told, like I could probably live the rest of my life and just use these lip liners and be completely fine. So I want to go in order here. This is number one. The first shade, it's just called 1C. And it's just like this perfect like nude for me because it just pulls the, the pink skin. Then 2C gives me a little bit more depth to work with. Still so skin native for me. And then the deepest shade, number three, 
is why I must love all these plums and whiny colors because when you look at this with my skin, it's perfect. So I was playing around with them yesterday and I started, you know, trying different things. Um, I had one color on, I had two colors on. I'm going to just sort of play around like I did yesterday. This is number two. I'm going to take this up here. Slightly overlining my lip, which is so easy to do when you're using something that's your lip color. These are the only two places that I ever overline. And then I'm gonna follow. Just my regular lip line. And I'm gonna leave it at that for a moment. I'm gonna take the deepest color I do a little contouring. So I like to do something like that. And I like to fill in on the sides. I'm sorry, it's so hard to talk when you're doing lipstick. Oftentimes I put a line there to make my lips look bigger. And I'm just gonna go like right above here with this color. Finally, I'm gonna take the lightest color, do a little filling in. Now I'm going to take my finger and blur this. And this is literally my lips but better. My lips but bigger looking, my lips but, you know, just really pretty. And what I did yesterday was I took my just candy glaze that I love and I just did a little gloss. And I think it only makes it even prettier. This is my perfect lip shade. My perfect lip shade with what I feel is one of, if not my favorite skin tint of all time already. I just, I feel like this is such a home run for mature people because you, here, let me get you close again. There is nowhere that this has settled into any of these lines here or here. Nothing. I'm looking at my nose. Nothing. It is just the most perfect product that I have used in a really long time in the complexion department. And I've never used anything like it before. I just, to me, this is incredible. So if I was gonna do the rest of my makeup like this, I would do like a really pretty blush. Hello, it's right here. I just took out She's Blushing. This might even be a little bit too peachy. Might be able to do better than that, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna bronze first with Phytosurgeons. So I'm going in with my brush. Till you get some on there. And I'm just going to 
give myself a little bronze action. And it takes very well to this product. This is number four in the rosy colors from Phytosurgeons. Guys, if you haven't been on there, Instagram lately, I'll put a picture up here. They are launching some new shadows that look <laughs> really good. And I just might show you one right now. I mean, you could go, definitely go do whatever errands you want to just like that. I'm going to put a little bit of fume on. This is always the color that when I don't know what to put on, put it on and it just works. I love that you can see my skin and granted, I definitely have sun damage and freckles and all of that stuff, but I honestly would rather have that than a full mask of makeup at least on a daily basis, like if I'm not going to, you know, a wedding and having professional photography done. This is what I like. This is, this is what makes me feel good. Like my lips feel good. They look great. I mean, I could definitely use some sleep. We're going to put a little Mac painterly paint pot on here just to smooth the surface and cancel out any purpley blue looking veins that I have going here. I love it but I can make it even better. So I'd like to introduce you all to Mellow Mycelium. This is one of the brand new shades that I was sent to try out and it is so magnificent. The first thing that you'll notice about the new shadows is that they actually have a little bit more creaminess to them so it's it's not as difficult as as it used to be i think to get some opacity these i think are going to give you a little bit more than what you've had and what i like to do is take this on the mobile lid first and kind of pull it out just with my finger. These shadows have a pearlescence to them and a radiance that you can definitely see. And I'm just using my ring finger because it's just more delicate. And doing the mobile lid again and pulling this out. Okay, now I'm going to take a little brush, something kind of stiff. Just going to take a little bit of this to swipe up here, just really gently, just to get rid of any harsh edges that we might have and to be able to pull this out a little bit more. Kind of go into here, not waste any real estate. Same thing with this side. It is just the easiest, most beautiful mushroom I think that I've ever seen. This is one of six shadows that will be released on Wednesday at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Get your carts ready. <laughs> That's all I can say is get your carts ready. 
because I feel like photosurgeons has gotten a lot more popular. I like to use a fan brush and put a little of this underneath. It's just like this great color with my eyes too. It's just, I love it. And I, it's so nice to have like a daytime shade that can go to nighttime, but it's not especially sparkly. Like it's definitely got radiance in it, but it's more of like a pearly look than like a glitzy look. So I know I could definitely change this up for nighttime, but for daytime, this is really awesome. Okay, we're gonna put on some mascara. So in the mail this week, I got the I got the Bobel and Rudy brown tubing mascara. It's like a chocolate brown. So Rudy Berry is a nice, cute, young influencer who has been working on this chocolate brown tubing mascara for a while and she let's find out how it looks it looks gorgeous on her she's been showing it a lot on her channel there really aren't that many brown tubing mascaras and this one is supposed to be a little bit warmer this is what the applicator looks like I like the way it's pointed so you can get in there and there's lots and lots of brush hairs here to really put the product on. Now with a lot of Tubi mascaras, you get one chance to go in. So I don't know what the deal is yet with this. And I'm not gonna put any, mas any eyeliner on to do this. I'm just going to go for it. Pull my mirror a little bit closer because I'm old and I can't see. But since we were doing such a natural look, I felt like, hey, maybe brown mascara would be fitting. So I'm literally doing what I usually do, which is blink into my mascaras to get them to go from root to tip. I think I have to go back in because you know how like the first time you take it out, it's like been sitting. I don't want to take too much product out. A little bit bits are at the end here. There we go. I'm just doing a little wiggle. I like the way it separates. I was such a nice change from black. It's like we get so used to wearing black mascara. Sometimes brown is just softer. But we're gonna leave this one for now and go over to the other side and then we'll see if we if we can put a second coat on or not. There's no I like a fanned out lash. I'm gonna go out to the edge here and see what we can pick up. People make the funniest faces when they're putting on mascara. It's like you might be able to add on to this one. We are going to find out. I've got one like extra long lash here that I always have to just sort of wipe off. Right, I'm going to go in and see if we can do a second coat. See, I love the original from, I don't know where I put it now, the Victoria Beckham, because you can go in later and add to it. And so far, it seems like we can. I don't know how much we're getting of a change, but it's letting me. What a pretty mascara. What a nice change from black. It just seems lighter and airier. I really like the way it looks with my 
mushroom eyeshadow. Pull that out a little bit more. I mean, all in all, like this look could take five minutes to put together. You use your fingers for everything. You don't have to wear all three lip pencils, even though I have to be a little extra somehow. And if you feel like you need a little contour, put on. Just gonna put a little here. I've already bronzed. I'm just gonna make sure I've got a little definition here. You know, once you get other makeup on, you realize how much of your face that you put foundation on really doesn't need a whole lot of anything else because you wind up putting on bronzer and, and a blush and, you know, you spot conceal and you're doing all these things. And this was just easy. I think that Lisa has come up with a really groundbreaking formula. I did DM her team to like spread sunshine because I was so excited. But they told me that this will be something regularly stocked. It's not going to go in and out of season like we're used to like with her lipsticks. And that the same things go with the lip pencils so that you don't have to feel like you're being rushed to buy one or, or not. Um, I have one friend that bought this and she felt like she could wear a couple colors also. This was the one that I chose because I always choose undertone. And boy, am I glad I did with this because my skin looks like my skin, but it's not red. It's not botchy. Like I didn't have to do all of the concealing that I do like around here. I did a little bit down here just because I don't like my bottom of my face. Love the mascara. Congratulations to Rudy. I love seeing young girls succeeding in life and finding some cool things to do in the beauty space. So her chocolate dripped tubing mascara, I give it a 10. It's amazing. It looks beautiful. It was easy to put on. It built a little bit. I'm super happy. There's one last thing I wanted to show you. This product takes powder really well. This is the Mob Beauty Talc Free Pink Powder. This is just one of the little sponges that are like kind of velvety that you can get on Amazon for not much money. I'm just gonna take a little bit of product here. And Lisa's product does not complain in the least about powder. So if you're somebody who breaks out or gets oily or you just like the way powder looks, you can do that. I think you can pretty much do anything that you'd like to this piece of makeup. And yesterday when I went to go wash it off, the whole reason why I recorded was because I could not believe how my makeup was still on and how my face wasn't all blotchy and it didn't, you know, the feeling where you like have to go wash your face and like throw off your clothes and put on your sweats and just get your face washed. None of that. I had none of that at all, which is really weird for me because I'm like a skincare fanatic. I feel like this, first of all, Lisa just understands skin. She understands what people want. She understands what looks beautiful. I think her pared back taste and her ability to edit herself so that there is never too much but just enough and that kind of thing. This 
I'm telling you guys, this is different from anything you've ever tried. There's nothing on the market like this. I've tried face oils. I've tried tints. I mean, I thought that like the summer Fridays was like just this super light situation and that you get a sheer tint. Not where I'm not having to put on concealer, but I'm still having sheer coverage. So, I, you know, it's fairly incredible. I mean, this is a hero product. And honestly, if I had to pick the foundation of the year right now or the skin tint of the year or actually the skin care product of the year, it's going to Lisa at this point. It's hers to lose. I mean, it's like this is different. This is, I think, groundbreaking. I think it's huge for the mature woman or man who would like to use this. I think it is genius, just like Lisa. We love Lisa. I mean, I can't even count how many of her videos I've, I've watched. And she has come out with a few things that have been like hits or misses, but you guys run, allocate the funds for this for $49. You will have gorgeous, even soft skin that will take makeup, take powder, take bronzer, take blush. And your skin still looks like skin, but it's just your skin without all the nonsense. <laughs> the stuff that you don't want people to see. Check this out. I promise you won't be disappointed at all. This week will be a little bit scattered because I need to spend some time with my son. And I promised to get out the Tom Ford and I've got Girl on. I'm looking around here. I have the Danessa Myrex. I have both of those palettes to take a look at. I've got the new mascara from Guerlain. I've got the Meteorites. I've got the Tom Ford palette. I've got the lip blush. We're going to have a lot of fun this week. All right, you guys. I also want you to know that I'm going to start putting out my Sephora recommendations because they are all ready to go in my shop my shelf area. I want to show you all my favorites, show you things that um, I think I would like to pick up will be like a separate video and just get ready for all these sales. You know, make some decisions about where you would like to spend with the brand, with Sephora, with the department store. What are you looking for? That kind of thing. Thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We'd love to have you be part of the channel. Ring the bell so that you know when I upload. And this week will be a little weird, but I want to do the best I can to spend time with my son and share everything with you guys. And I want you to have all the information that you can possibly have about every product that's going to be at the for sale and also everything that is going to start going crazy tomorrow there's already crazy going on all right you guys mm -hmm. take care bye